Hi guys, today I want to talk about what you should get for to prepare for your professional engineer exam. Uh, I didn't come up with this list, a friend who just got his PE uh, gave me this as a reference. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be taking my PE in April next year or something like that, depending <coughs> on how do I feel. I've been trying to read, I already got the CERN manual. Uh, so, the resources that you need to study for the PE is for the CERN manual, that is the civil engineering reference manual that has like everything, all the, all the courses, uh, everything related to the PE. <coughs> Uh, it's very recommended also that you that you buy the PPI course. It's super expensive. It's like a thousand dollars, but from what I heard, like it's totally worth it. That you will not get some, anything better for studying for your PE exam than that. And like a thousand dollars may sound like a lot of money, but when you get your PE license, it should you know uh, be added to a, you should get like a raise or something like that. So you, you will be offset by that. And also, from what I read, if you don't pass your, your professional engineering exam, PPI will like let you take the course again until you pass it. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> now, I got these books or like this reference to study for the PPI, the, for the professional engineering exam, and I'm gonna be buying a lot of these. Um, so, they told me to get the timber design for civil and structural PE exams. They, they said me, <coughs> they told, that's one of the books that they recommended to me. Uh, the CERN manual, I already said that. Structural engineering solve problems. <clears throat> and basically, this is like just general uh, things that you see in everyday work uh, so that you can practice at home. Uh, six minute solutions for the civil PE exam, structural debt problems. And structural debt practice exam for the civil PE exam. And from this, this, this is to prepare for the structural PE exam. My, my thinking is like preparing for the P exam is going to be very similar to preparing for the FE, as for the FE. <coughs> it's just about solving a lot of problems related to the field. One book that I, that I know for sure that even if I haven't taken the P, that is really good. There is, is the, the AISC, the steel construction book, they have, they have a PDF called Design Problems. That is super cool. Like. I have used a lot of their examples for real world designs on, on my own that a lot of times I don't know this stuff. So I'm pretty sure like that's a really good reference for the PE as well. And they show you the whole process on how to design a house. Plus get these books that I told you and you should be fine studying for your PE. Um, Alright guys, thank you, subscribe.